Okay, everyone, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open the Gmail app. Um, Gmail is definitely better than the stock mail app, so download that from self-service. Then you're going to click the little pencil icon in the corner. Um, that's how you compose a new email. You type in the email address of the person you want. In this case, you're typing an email to me, Miss Cahill. Make sure you put in a subject line because then that way the teacher knows kind of what um, the email is about and it also makes it so that the teacher can keep it organized um, and that's going to be true for school and for life you want to make sure that you have your subject lines organized so that people know what the email in question is about before um, they even have to read it now um, the next thing you need to do is make sure that you include a greeting. Um, that's just proper email etiquette, and it's important for people to know that, you know, you are writing an email respectfully. If you don't do a greeting, then it comes off as if, you know, you just are wanting an urgent answer, and it comes off kind of rude. So making sure that you include a greeting um, makes it so that people uh, feel respected in your email. It sets a really good tone. When you're writing your email, you want to be really specific with, um, you know, what you need. If you just say, like, hey, what's the homework for tonight? The teacher's going to say, oh, well, check Canvas or check your assignment planner or whatever system your teacher has. If you can clarify maybe the reason why you didn't know what the homework was, that will help the teacher. Um, and... And it will help the teacher know what information you need so that they're not just telling you something you already tried to do. Thank them, do whatever, sign your name, send the email, and that's how you do it.